おはようございます。おはようございます。Um, we're still in Japan. We are. We didn't come home early. No. And today was our fourth full day and our last Disney day. Just bye, Disney. It is. It's bittersweet.、Mm -hmm. uh, we love Disney, but we killed ourselves over the past four days <laughs> and we are very happy to not be going to Disney. Sacrificed ourselves in the to Disney. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so today was our last day in the parks.、Um, we spent it all at Tokyo Disney Sea. And we're going to start off with the highlights because that's what we do.、Um, for people who don't want all the details, which is totally fine, we'll start all of our videos with the highlights of the day.、Um, so, here are the highlights of our last Disney Sea. So, let's address the Dalmatian in the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, One of the things that we've、uh, mentioned a couple of times, and it's come up in our stories and maybe in the videos before, is that people coordinate their outfits here and like to a, a crazy degree. Like, whatever you're thinking when we say everyone's in matching outfits, it's at least five to ten times more than what you're thinking. At, yeah. At least. Like, there's so many people.、Um, when, once you start <laughs> creepily taking pictures of people to like see, like, to like prove this. <laughs> It's like it's click, everywhere. Click, click. Yeah. It, it is. It's so. It,、yeah. Anyway. So. To, I counted one group today. It was like,、uh, it was 15 people. Oh, like all in the same outfit? Um, Like similar esque color wise, and then they all have the same、mm. ears. Okay. So, yeah. Like, it, it's, it's just everywhere.、Mm -hmm. Um, So. In keeping with the spirit of Tokyo Disneyland, we decided to coordinate our outfits today. For our last day. So, we went with all white and all black. Because we're just working with what we got here. Exactly. So,、like, um, I mean, just had an all white outfit here、yeah. and all black. And、Jen. then to tie it all in, decided to wear these uh, bison uh, headbands, which are very popular in the park. Yeah. And I don't, I've never seen these in the US. I mean, maybe they've come out since Christmas, but I don't、mm -hmm. think so. I think this is, I don't think these are in the US yet. So、um, they have all these, all the different characters. Um, and the Dalmatian, Dalmatian ones, I think, maybe are newer because they were pretty popular、yeah. in the parks. All over the place. But it、uh, really tied our whole ensemble. We, just, we felt、so. like locals today. Exactly. Just, just a kinship with the like,、mm -hmm. thousands of other people in matching outfits. Exactly. So, yeah, I just really felt like we, we belonged today. Exactly. <laughs> So, right. was... so, again,、uh, we're hitting the highlights.、Yeah. Um, one of the things that we did today that was different than any of our other Disney days is that we made a, a real、uh, big kid reser reservation <laughs> at like, a table restaurant. At a restaurant. table service restaurant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.、Uh, so... Disney breaks up its types of restaurants into、um, various types of restaurants. Le le I mean, there's、yeah. like counter service, there's like a table service, buffeteria. Yeah. Which is go down the line, tell them what you want, they give it to you, and then you go pay. Yeah.、Um, But in this case, we hadn't、um, eaten at any of the table restaurants because they require reservations, which requires. You can going only the make、Japanese、them、website. on their Japanese website. Yeah, exactly. So, and we, we did, we're not that skilled. So,、um, but we knew you could go and try for the day of. And、um, so we made a point of getting to one of the restaurants before it opened and、uh, hung out at their counter until、mm -hmm. they. Open their doors and we got, got a, a spot, which is pretty、exactly、exciting. Exactly when we wanted it to happen. And yeah, it worked really well.、And、yeah, it was an Italian restaurant, and so it's in this section. It's in the Mediterranean section of the park, and we asked for an outside table, and we were right next to、uh, the canals where they have gondolas going by, and so we、mm -hmm. got to watch those pass by, and it was just lovely. Yeah, perfect slice of Disney magic. <laughs> Um, and it was, it was pretty good,、mm -hmm. food taste wise. Yeah.、Um, yeah, so, it, was, it was fine. It was a good experience. It was a, it, not, I think, the best food of that variety I've tasted, but、yeah. like a significant、um, step, step up above, from what we've yeah, been eating in from, the park. Yeah, from what like, the other like, park options are. Yeah. Agreed.、Um, okay. And let's see. Skipping、um, to some entertainment,、mm -hmm. um, we ended the day with a performance. In、uh, the under the sea section of the park in Mermaid Lagoon.、Uh, this was. King, it's called like King, King Triton's concert? King Triton's concert, maybe. Concert? King Triton's something or other. But the, really, the standout is that there is an aerialist. Yes.、Uh, that Ariel is played by an aerialist. <laughs>
on this really impressive uh, flying super, rig. Super, super um, impressive, because it's a big, pretty big room. Mm-hmm. And um, she's flying and swooping and swirling and flipping and, and yeah, all over the place. Hanging down and blowing kisses and waving to everybody. The whole time she's in like a mermaid fin mm-hmm. and like her arms are swimming the whole time mm-hmm. and like kicking her legs and back flipping and yeah. Yeah. She, very, very impressive. And um, through like three songs, I think. Yeah. So about ten minutes, which I mean, that's longer than I could survive in that harness. No so kidding. um and we were we both had similar thoughts during the show, yeah. which was, um, does she like immediately come back and do this again? Or are they like switching her out? Like do we have like yeah, alternate how often she switch? Because that's a lot that's a lot of time in that yeah. um in that harness. Mm-hmm. But um yeah, it was it was pretty fun. Like we we had talked about maybe trying to catch it, but it wasn't like super high and on our list. And then we had an opening and decided to wander over there and see if we could get in. And um, I'm kind of glad we did. It was a nice, like, uh, nice little experience. It was just yeah. like a 15 minute show, really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah real quick. Um, but yeah, like, kind of our <laughs> that was kind of how our day went. It was mm-hmm. very. Um, what what do you want to do next? Yeah, <laughs> like, and to some extent, actually, all of our time in Disney has mm-hmm. in uh, Tokyo Disney has been like that. Uh, rather than like our approach to, and we mentioned this before, like Disneyland and California Adventure, like is go 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 go, mm-hmm. like use every last minute. And in this, and some of that's because we know it so well. Yeah, exactly. and so we know exactly what we want to do and like the best way to make it happen. Mm-hmm, yeah. um, There's a lot more exploration here and getting mm-hmm. to know the parks and seeing what there is and trying new things in them and yeah. yeah. So uh, we'd often like plan out the next thing or two that we're doing and then we'd end up on a bench uh, <laughs> hanging out and talking <laughs> about so many what benches. we want to do next. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Today especially it was brought to you by benches. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Let's bench. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's like a mad dash in the morning and then um, we kind of get through that initial like here's the th- three or four things we had to do like mm-hmm. in quick succession and then we sort of have a moment to breathe and figure yeah. out our, our next steps. So um, kind of like Disneyland, like we got through most of the things we wanted to do in the parks. Like yeah. we went through the map last night and made like marked all the things we wanted to make sure we saw mm-hmm. and we almost got to all of them and I'm yeah. like, I feel pr- pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Yeah. So that wraps up our Disney adventure for exactly. this trip. It also wraps up our highlights for the day. So, uh, this is the point where you can jump off if you wanted the short version, um, and if you want to stick around for the long version. Slightly or, longer version tonight, yeah, maybe. Slightly longer version, because... Yeah. As in... Can you not tell how tired? Yeah, that was slightly <laughs> longer, I meant, than like what we've said so far. Not... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks for staying. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so now we'll jump back and kind of go through the details of the day, um, and for those of you that are interested in knowing more about the park or just what we've been up to. Um, so today, Disney Sea, we got Mm -hmm. there, uh, got in, oh, the first time we were in Disney Sea, we split up and, uh, Jared went and got fast pass tickets for Tower of Terror while I stood in the standby line for Journey to the Center of the Earth. Today we decided to flip-flop that. Um, partly because the standby line for Journey to the Center of the Earth, I mean, I don't want to say it was soul-crushing the first day, (laughs) but it was really long, and it was, like, in a cave and underground, and I just didn't want that experience again, and I don't Mm -hmm. think Jared did either, so we decided to switch that so that we wouldn't have to wait in that line, and we could just fast-pass Journey to the Center of the Earth. Um, Plus, it's interesting to see a different queue if you've, you know... Um, cause they, they try to make them semi-interesting. So we had already waited for hours in a cavern. So yeah. Yeah. Let's so try an old hotel. check that off the list. Um, so Jared went and got the fast passes again. That mm-hmm. was, that was his choice. They didn't, I'm not making <laughs> him, making him run all around over the park. Yeah. Um, and then I went and stood in the Tower of Terror line and, uh, we were able to find each other. That's always a gamble because mm-hmm. only, there's only one Wi-Fi between us. So if we mm-hmm. split up, we can't really reach each other. Yeah. Um, but luckily we were able to find each other pretty easily. One strategy is get to where you think you're in the vicinity of the other person and, and try to text. See whether that text goes through. <laughs> and if they do, or if it does, then yeah. you know like you're kinda close. At least today I was dressed in all white. Yeah. And it was sunny. So yeah. I was kinda glowing. Although there's actually a lot of like white sh- right? white shirts exactly. at least. Yeah. Um around the park. There's and a of... number of white sweatshirts. Yeah. And so, then yeah. we already mentioned like 
hundreds of people have these ears, but exactly. we found each other. We did. And Road Tower Chair. And then, uh, I don't know if there's anything standout about it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Yes, there was. <laughs> yes, there was. <laughs> this morning feels so long ago. Yeah. Oh, we got on Tower of Terror, goodness. and like the basically the entire rest of the car was filled with like young teenage girls, right? There young, were guys too, uh, but fine, it, but they but weren't all together, like right? I think a lot of them. Maybe were. a lot of them were. I don't know, anyway. but as soon as the doors closed on that car, they started screaming, like, and did not <laughs> stop screaming again until that car pulled back into the into the bay. It was like I was just laughing because my picture like my face in the picture on that ride I'm just like sitting there like I think my hands are over my mouth like this. It's happening. I couldn't even believe like, what was going on. It was oh Yeah, anyway. that was that was an experience. They enjoyed that ride in in, in a way that was surprising. <laughs> So yeah, that was that was our like wake up this yeah, morning. Was, exactly. Was that? Um, like I think it was like louder, screaming, like louder than anything else that yeah. we've experienced. Yeah. Like I'm, I will say it. Like on loud parts on rides, like I will cover my ears because there's like loud stuff and it's really close and it's like really like insistent, like that loud roller coaster noise if you're going up the hills and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. this was just like surrounding us and super loud it and, was, yeah. and we were not expecting it. So yeah. So that was, so that was standout mm -hmm. from Tower of Terror. Yeah. And then, uh, did we have time? Yeah, we had time after that, right? Like mm -hmm. what did we? Oh, that's when we caught the band. Oh yeah. We caught more street entertainment. Um, I'm just so happy cause I really was like I, I mentioned earlier that I was like, Tokyo Disney doesn't seem to have as much street performance as um, Disneyland. But I think part of it is that they don't list any times. Or at least, yeah. maybe they do. <laughs> and maybe, maybe it's in Japanese. Maybe it's in Japanese. But no, there is a there is a Showtime's guide. And it has mm -hmm. all the bigger shows. But it doesn't even really look like they reference anything else. There's certainly no other times. Like, we can recognize the times mm -hmm. listed. Yeah. Um, even if we can't read the, the words. We can still read numbers. We can read numbers. And so, um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just random. Mm -hmm. Maybe they just don't want to commit to that time. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So we stumbled across another band. This one was um, in the Pixar themed area. There's actually mm -hmm. like a big Pixar uh, like uh, theme happening right now yeah. for the park. Um, yeah. I don't know when it started or stops, but mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of Pixar stuff right now. Yeah, there's a giant Pixar ball in that plaza, mm -hmm. and then the band all had like they had like a giant like a Pixar ball part of their uniform. Um, one thing that was fun about this performance is that they actually passed pass out these shakers to the audience so, and then had like the audience like mm -hmm. shake on beat. Yeah. Um, and they, um, pulled some people from the audience for a couple of their songs and mm -hmm. in one of them they had like someone on cymbals, mm -hmm. someone on blocks, someone on cowbell, cowbell and yeah. I feel like there was one more, but anyway. They were doing different rhythms and, and then they there did was a good job. on like <laughs> pretend air guitar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they did. They did a Really the good job. Cymbals, was that, very impressive. There was like a section where the band played a rhythm, and then all these new percussionists with their partner had to play the same rhythm, and then like back and forth, and the rhythm got like there were like more three complicated. Of them and it got more complicated. And then time. they had the audience with the still, shakers like, on, on, a, on a rhythm, it, yeah. rhythm too. And it, yeah, yeah, like it was that was really it was fun. fun. Like way more interactive than I've seen before. And as far as I could tell, nobody stole a shaker, and they yeah. got them all back. And yeah, um, so that was that was really neat because we just stumbled upon that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, like we've, had to, upon them. like we've had to with all the uh, street entertainment. So that took our, a little bit of our time, mm -hmm. which was good. That's where we decided to then go head, make our way to the restaurant, because yeah. we knew that day of restaurants can be made, at least for this hotel, I think for all of the park hotels, um, starting at 10 a.m. And we were approaching that, so we decided to yeah. head in that direction. As we got closer, we were right there for the lottery, for mm -hmm. the shows for the day. We really enjoyed the shows that we saw when we were there last time on mm -hmm. Wednesday. That's when we, we won the lottery for that, like, the big show. Yeah, the big band beat. Big band beat. Uh, but we decided that this time, uh, like, we enjoyed those a lot, but that we didn't necessarily need to see them again. Yeah. So we did enter for the other lottery option, which is a Pixar... Uh, performance, Play, playtime, Pixar, yeah, Pixar something, playtime, something, something or other yeah. performance, uh, but we lost yeah. and we were not was fine. about it at all. Yeah. yeah, So then we walked over to the hotel and got in line. I'm uh, not the hotel. Right. Sorry. I was like, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying all the wrong words. We walked over to the restaurant and got in line. Uh, she, mm -hmm. the hostess, came over and made sure that we knew that you couldn't make reservations until ten. It was like mm -hmm. nine forty. Yep. Um, uh, 9.30, 9.40. Uh, 
It was and, very nice of her. Yes. Um, and then a few minutes before, te- before 10, like, they came and started asking us. They took mm-hmm. us inside. We got to pick the time that we wanted. We asked for two. They had an opening at 2.10. Um, and it all worked out perfectly. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And, um, I mean, we had only read some stuff online about how to, you know, how to make that day of reservation work. And um, they actually called the reservations priority seating. Priority seating. And, um... I think, like, the blog we were looking at, they had said they had tried, like, multiple times at this restaurant for day of reservations and hadn't gotten in. Yeah. So, um, we lucked out. I don't know. Worked out for us, yeah. We'll take it. Um, so that was exciting. And, um, it's always nice to do, I mean, everything here is new to us because it's our first time in the (laughs) park, but it's nice to switch up the experience and have, like, one, one table service meal while we're there. Yeah. So... I'm really glad we did that. Yeah. That was good. Have a nice variety of experiences. Yeah. So now that we had lunch all lined up, mm. it was time to go for breakfast. Yes. Uh, because again, we have that morning dash where you have to get like... <laughs> all the things done. Yeah. All the things done, including scheduling lunch in this case. <laughs> and then we could go find breakfast. Uh, so we went back to the bakery that yeah. we went for. Uh, the first day we went to a bakery... Um, and this time, like, I don't, we picked a sweet, sweet time to go. We, like, walked right in the door. We didn't have to wait in a line or anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and had some, had some breakfast treats. Mm-hmm. That also feels like it was a really long time ago. I know. I'm trying to decide. It's like, <laughs> was it that time that we went? Because that couldn't be. No, the, what? Okay. T- couldn't have been today. Yeah. Like, no, no. That was it. Like, yeah. we, we didn't no, have I, to wait. No, we, I believe you. We got right through. Yeah. There was almost no line. <laughs> um, so. What's yeah. next? Um, at that point, that's what we ask each other, like, all day long. Yeah, what's next? What's next? What's next? (laughs) Um, so, let's see, our next fast pass. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, right, so you're available, you're eligible to get a new fast pass two hours after you got your last one. So we got our first one at 8.25, that's after we had dashed into the park and I had run and picked up Journey, Mm -hmm. like, got that fast pass at 8.25, which means at 10.25, we could get another one even if we hadn't used the previous one yet. So it sounds really complicated. It, yeah, it's not once it's you're not, used to it. It's not. Um, and all the tickets say on there like when you're eligible for yeah, the next exactly. one. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Um, it's you don't have to remember those rules. Because um, we certainly do. <laughs> but we just we had to debate this particular park. I mean, it doesn't have a ton of fast pass attractions to begin with, and we had done most of the we had done all the big rides mm-hmm. on our first day. So now it was really just like. Is there anything we want to see or do again? And um, we kind of went back and forth with uh, deciding between Tower and Terror and Journey to the Center of the Earth. They were the two biggest. They're the two biggest and the and the best. Um, like two highest on our list. Yeah, and um, we opted for Journey to the Center of the Earth, mm-hmm. partly because we have equivalents to Tower of Terror at home and mm-hmm. at home <laughs> in California. We've where- heard- We've ridden Tower of Terror. Where we live, apparently. Yeah. We've ridden Tower of Terror in California Adventure and Mm -hmm. Hollywood Studios Mm -hmm. in Florida and Disneyland Paris or whatever the the other one is at Disneyland uh, Paris. Yeah. Is that that also Hollywood uh, Hollywood Studios? Maybe. I don't know. And and also now the rebranded Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy in California Adventure. Yeah. Mission Breakout. So we had lots of Tower in our life and And, we had the... And I love Tower. Yeah. So much. Yeah. But, um, Um, and Jared was very nice and was like, if you need more Tower in your life, like, we can make that happen. (laughs) But since Journey's unique to this park, we decided to go for this one again. Yeah. And just in the nick of time, because... Yeah. There was still a pretty big line. And this is at 1030 and, um, we had to wait. A considerable amount of time. Yeah, just to get back into the fast pass mm-hmm. line, uh, to get a new fast pass. Yeah, and we could like see the like they tell you like the fast passes that are being issued now mean that you can come back at this window during this window, and we can like see the window up there like ticking away. It's like mm-hmm. now these fast passes are no longer available, and it's getting closer and closer to, to the end close. of when the park is open. So you know, at, it, once it hits a certain point, there are just no more fast passes mm-hmm. available. Um, so it really was like you're watching the clock tick exactly, down yeah. while you're it's still like waiting. And people like, in front of us at the machine go faster. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, there's no reason it should be taking that long. Scan yeah. your tickets. So we ended up with fast pass return that was nine oh five to uh, ten o'clock, ten p.m. Yeah, uh, which was good. We thought it was going to close down Whew. with the when it said we nine thought we to were ten. Just yeah. going to miss it. But, yeah, exactly. But we but, got it. But they do actually do it after that, so it was good to um, actually get a fast pass. Um, yes. 
Yeah. Because the first day we only had our first two two. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we tried we tried for more. Oh no, just one. just the one. We just had one. We yeah. just had the one because by the time we tried to get another fast pass, they were all gone. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was good. Yeah, exactly. That we grabbed it. Um. At that point, we went. Well, we actually went in search of an ATM. Uh, <laughs> but that meant going out to like the big opening plaza with a giant globe that turns slowly and has water running down. It's it really the cool. Way. It, it yeah, it's a it's a cool piece. Um. But and we hadn't really spent any time there. We'd yeah, only really run through it. Exactly. In the it was really it was nice to go back out and just sort of kind of see that entry space because yeah, like in the morning you just don't <laughs> there's no time. Mm-hmm. No time to look at any of that. And surprisingly, um I guess surprisingly, we, we just didn't know that um there's characters out there doing yeah. um doing photos with people. So that was kinda of fun. Yeah. I I uh didn't get any pictures with it. You didn't today either, right? No. Um yeah, we didn't get any pictures with them, but it was just neat to see them, and it's really fun to watch them interact and um, see kids super excited. And I don't know, it was just it was just fun to yeah. observe for a while because we just kind of hung out for a little bit. And yeah. oh yeah, like um, watch other people got the there. ATM, but then yeah. like hung out and just kind of relaxed again. Chill. We we benched it for a while. Yes, we did. And uh, shade bench. Yep, and just uh, people watched for a bit. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Um, at that point, it was time for us to use our first fast pass at Journey to the Center of the Earth, so we went back there. Uh, we went all over the place today. Um, I was, like, we, hmm, we did sit on a lot of benches today, and a lot, often, at once we finished something, we would sit on a bench and hang out and figure out what we're going to do next, but we still, Somehow, like, we still ended up... Yeah, like, we broke 20,000 steps. Yeah. I'm at 22,000 steps, uh, yeah. for the day. Mine takes longer to, um... um check so you can yeah uh so we still like walked just as much yeah, as before same. even though we um spent like more time sitting yeah <laughs> i don't more know time, more time sitting we, yeah like this park is huge but we still like re-entered every section of the park today and even mm-hmm. like saw parts that we didn't see the first day yeah so yeah we i think we weren't we just we weren't in as many lines today mm-hmm. and so even though we took breaks to sit we didn't sit longer than we were in line the first day. That yeah. makes sense. So yeah, yeah. we still covered a lot of ground. Mm-hmm. So we went back to Journey of the Center of the Earth. Uh, it's a fun ride. Uh, it's kind of slow, like a slow dark ride through most of it. And then it has like a nice, uh, really fast, like s- like curved track into like a nice plunge. A fun drop. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it it is, it is fun. It's not like three hours worth of line fun, but... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was fun to, to ride it again, and we had one, like, another turn on that coming in many, many, many hours. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yes. And then we had a moment of, now what? <laughs> yep. So we probably benched it again somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and then we decided to go to Aquatopia. Mm-hmm. Which we had seen the last time and hadn't gone on it. We'd wanted to, but, um... Ran out of daylight, and it kind of seemed... Because it's on the water, if um, Aquatopia didn't give it away. Mm. Um, so, if you're familiar so with... So, most of the things in this park are yeah, on the water. So, it was a little misleading, the name Aquatopia, um, because it's a play on the uh, Autopia. Autopia. Yeah, cars that are in Disneyland, which is um, these little cars on a track that you, like drive your little car on the track so we thought that's what these were we thought you mm-hmm. drove yeah we saw them and we thought they were like water bumper cars which was yeah mind-blowing and life-changing <laughs> um, turns out that's not what they were <laughs> no they still look like that and the, still like a fun concept yeah um but they do drive themselves mm-hmm. uh, yeah waiting in line we're like it does not look like there's any controls and it does no. not look like people are actively controlling yeah, their car no. in any way. There is no steering wheel. Yeah, no no <laughs> method of steering. Yes. Um, but it was a fun ride and like you don't know where your car is going to go and like mm-hmm. it, they drove really inefficiently. Yeah. So it was kind of funny. It was like... Like jerk and stuff. Yeah. And, and, like jerk and, and, stuff. and then and, like back up. And when it was even goes, clear that the yeah. ride was ending and we were like headed toward the, the exit of the pool, it was like our car took the most nonsensical route and like kept acting like it was going like the wrong direction and stopping yeah. and flipping around. And yeah. um, so that was, that was, that was, um, it was, it was fun. It was unique. Yeah. And not, not a ride we've experienced elsewhere. Mm-hmm. So really, and, really glad we did it. And even though it was like pretty sunny and warm at that point, it wasn't a super long wait, which I feel like that ride's mm-hmm. probably really popular when it's like sunny out. Yeah. Cause yeah, it is like sense. on the water. Um, 
But yeah, that was fun. I'm glad we got that one in. And there's a part of my brain that's like, I can't believe that was today. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That feels like it was a really long time ago. Yeah, we really did like jump all over the park. Yeah. Um, Like from from that section. Next, we went to back to Mermaid Lagoon, um, which is where the (sighs) um, under the sea area is, Mm -hmm. like Triton's Domain. Uh, Yeah, we had a couple goals there. Yeah. We... Um, Wanted to check the show schedule um, because we knew there was a little show in there. Um, we mentioned it in our highlights. And then, um, spoiler, they don't post the times for that show. At least not that I saw. Yeah. Uh, so we no. really had no idea like what, what that was. But um, there was an ice cream treat that we had heard of um, or I'd read about online that was in that we knew was in the mermaid area. And um, I can't... Oh my gosh, we're just the worst at remembering the names of things. M- Makona? Monaco. M- Monaco. Anyway, sea, sea salt ice cream Monaco. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Um anyway, it was I didn't double double check those vowels. Yeah. Um but it was it was like shaped like a shell and it was really just like um like a sugar cone, like a sugar ice cream cone mm-hmm. uh texture um that was shaped like a shell and the inside was vanilla ice cream or milk ice cream probably with like a, a thin layer of like almost like jam, right? Oh yeah. 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 That yeah, was, it was sea that salt, was sea salt some ice cream. Berry flavor. Yeah. Red berry. Mm-hmm. I don't raspberry strawberry, I'm not yeah. sh- too sure. Um, but it was it was delightful. Yeah. It was it was very good. I liked it because it wasn't too hard. Mm-hmm. Like it but it wasn't melty. I don't know, it was a really nice yeah. like texture. Like yeah. really nice level of frozen. Yeah, it was a nice treat. I was mm-hmm. really surprised at how la- light <laughs> how light it was. <laughs> uh, when <laughs> when uh, she handed it to me. Um it's like there's mm-hmm. very very light treat. So then we uh, we benched it yes, we did. In, in the Mermaid Lagoon mm-hmm. and um, enjoyed our ice cream and um, watched this kid next to us who was being held but just kind of like throwing himself back and oh my gosh. taking in the room. Um, yeah. He was really entertaining. He was in like a baby carrier and he was full on <laughs> like, like yeah <laughs> yeah and just watching the room like that for quite a while. That kid was tripping. Um, and then we decided we should get it. It was actually, re- it's really warm and humid down there and, um, not, which is not great if you're like running on very little sleep. Although mm-hmm. we did get more sleep. We did. Last night. Exactly. So um, combined, we hit eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours, which was an improvement on the like six, like seven, seven? under seven, you just know. under seven from last night, from the night before. Daily improvement. So now between the two of us, we got a full night's rest. <laughs> For like a normal human. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, so I had to get out of there because, um, like, get, I'm about get to back fall up, asleep. get back up to the surface, out from underneath the sea, Basically, get some fresh exactly air. Exactly how I look now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then was it lunchtime? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just had to make our way to the lunch reservation. Okay. Uh, once we got there, mm-hmm. they asked if if we wanted to sit inside or out, mm-hmm. and um, the Brickers had actually recommended sitting outside. Yes, um, our uh, Disneyland Tokyo Go- gurus, yeah, guides Tokyo Disneyland as well as uh, other places. Yeah, um, they yeah, will our continue guides. to inform our entire trip. Thank you. Recommended sitting outside, Thank you, so we did. Yeah, so we did. We sat like right along. Uh, we mentioned this in the highlights. Right along. The, the canal through like a sort of Venetian mm-hmm. uh, section of the Mediterranean section of the park. <laughs> uh, and it was, it was, it was really nice. Oh, it was really um, pretty. I had like a pasta carbonara. Um, yeah, we, we kind of laughed this morning as we were making this reservation at an Italian restaurant and we we're like, well, we picked a great day for Jared to wear all white. Exactly. And we'll head to this. Right? So we, yeah. So but, it makes it mo- the most sense for me to like eat a pasta with sauce. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah, but we actually Ka- both Katrina actually sacrificed her jacket for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I wore her jacket <laughs> um, on top with the napkin on my lap mm-hmm. and ate very and carefully. survived. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think we were out there at, like the best time of the day because it like it was still sunny when we sat down, but then like by the time we were done, the sun mm-hmm. had kind of disappeared. Yeah. Um, so I feel like we got the best of the weather while we were out on that terrace. Um, let's see. Food was fine. Mm-hmm. Um, we actually split um, like a pasta dish and a pizza dish, and then we both got dessert. Um, you know, splurge it up while we're at the mm-hmm. table service restaurant, yeah. and um, it was a nice experience. We'd mentioned um, it's, it probably wasn't like the best uh, 
Disney like restaurant time. food yeah. ever. Um, but it was nice to mix it up, and I'm really glad we did it. Yeah. So Agreed. try that if you're there. Try to get a reservation. Um, and sitting out with the gondolas was really lovely. And every single gondola that went by was singing happy birthday to someone. Yeah. Really don't know what's go what was yeah. going on there. Like, <laughs> multiple <laughs> times, multiple <laughs> times, I was like, is it possible that's not happy birthday? Like, maybe they have a different song. Like, <laughs> they sing that, to that, too. That sounds just like happy just birthday. Just like happy birthday. <laughs> um, although, there was one time we looked over, and there was a woman wearing a, like, it's my birthday hat, like Mickey Ears hat. So we're like, okay, fine. We, we that can one... confirm that there was one person with a birthday on one of yeah. those gondolas. Yeah, but um, the rest, who knows? But mm -hmm. that was that was kind of funny. Um, and I'm glad we got to see the gondolas because we had wanted to ride them and then it ended up just not working out. So um, the we didn't make it onto a gondola, but we got to see several of them go by. Mm -hmm. So we, we got to experience many gondolas. Exactly. We just didn't get on one. We got like the gondola experience, mm -hmm. but with food. Yeah, exactly. And afterwards, we were probably like, what's next? <laughs> yeah. Uh, after... Uh, after that, we, like Katrina mentioned, like, it was very sunny, it mm. started to, like, get a bit cooler, that's because we were losing our light, mm -hmm. and it was time for us to make sure that we could take advantage of our amazing outfits today, that we... We needed to do some documentation. ...coordinated in uh, the spirit of all the coordinated outfits mm -hmm. at Tokyo Disneyland, which was mentioned in the highlights. <laughs> um, but, yes, so now we had to, like, go around the park and have mm -hmm. our own personal photo shoot. Mostly um, selfie style. Mostly, yeah. And um, we don't have to detail every single place we went, no. but we started in that Pixar area. And that, it's just, we've noticed that that particular area is just full of people in matching outfits taking pictures all the time. So it was mm -hmm. like, we can be those people today. Yeah. And, like, stake out an area and, like, try to, like, set up cameras because people are just doing that, like, all over the park. Like, well, and in Putting these, the, yeah. like, setting up their phones and stuff on the ground and, like, doing, like, trying to do time shots and stuff. And we're like, we can be those people today. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we played around in there for a while. And um, then... Mm, we started wandering... We ended up in, there's one section of the park called the Arabian Coast, uh, and we ended up in one of like the back alleyways there, oh, yeah. taking pictures in front of a blank wall. It's kind of a joke that we've had going for the past couple of days, that like we see people like lining up to take pictures of, of nothing, uh, like pictures in front of nothing, like even if it's just they're in front of a blank wall. Yeah. And then no joke, this evening we saw a woman taking a picture of a blank wall. Like, there wasn't, not even, even, there not... wasn't even a person in front of it. Just taking a picture of a blank wall. Yeah. And it wasn't even like, I mean, sometimes I'll take pictures of walls that have like cool wallpaper. I've actually taken like pictures of Disney wallpaper, wall, yeah, uh, wallpaper or like interesting tile work. Mm -hmm. I've taken pictures of, this was just like, a, like fake stone brick. Yeah. Like, like just uniform. Yeah. Like in our fake wall, like... <laughs> Uh, like there was, there was brick and then like, it was kind of like crumbly in here mm -hmm. and there was like a, a rose bush, some sort of flower. Yeah. And like a, and a, yeah. a light, like yeah. a little a lamp. lantern. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, you know, it was like a plain wall, but there was still, some, blank still wall. some visual interest there. And this woman was just taking like, like yeah. almost like a close up of <laughs> just yeah. a blank wall. Um, maybe she saw something in it. We didn't. That's, that's great. Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so we hung out in that alleyway for a while. And then moved on toward uh, the Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones section of the park. I forget what the name of the area is called. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember either. Is that in, that's not in Lost River Delta? It's too low. Like anyway, doesn't matter. Indiana Jones. Um, there's a lot of greenery up there and a couple bridges, and we mm -hmm. thought maybe like the bridges would give us a good a, a good view. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually had a cast member offer to take our picture on the bridge, and he did a pretty good job. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. that was really nice. He did. Um, that's always hit or miss. Someone else trying to take the picture. So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, we kind of took advantage of this opportunity to walk down pathways that we hadn't walked down before. So I really think we've covered most of the walking trails at this point because we kind of got all the way up to the top and looped back down yeah. um, and then crossed one of the bridges and then we benched it again mm -hmm. and we're like, okay, what, what yeah. are we, what's next? <laughs> like, <laughs> Let's just assume that we got our perfect yeah, photo and yeah. move on with our lives. Move on to different things. So we were 
up near Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. And Indiana Jones, we'd mentioned previously, has single rider. And so we um, went and tried to do that. But we were told single rider was temporarily closed. Which, if I was fluent in Japanese, I would have asked more questions. Mm -hmm. Because I just don't understand how all of a sudden you don't need single riders. Yeah. And we know that single riders for Indiana Jones here is not very popular. So I it couldn't even be like, we have too many. There's yeah. there's just no way. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, mm -hmm. Maybe there was like something lost in translation there. I don't know. So yeah. we moved on. We just took it as a sign. We moved we on. Headed back south, as in... Park what, South. What we call South in mm -hmm. the park. In Back the, toward the entrance. Yeah, in the parks, the directions match just like what the the orientation of the map <laughs> of the from map. the entrance. Yeah. So we know it was not actually Regardless south. of what real life is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, headed back and then we caught a ride that... That is when we did it, right? Yeah. That, then we caught a ride that I loved from last time we were there, the Sinbad ride. It is like a small world mm -hmm. where you ride along a little boat and they're like animatronic people. Uh, on the sides, except in this one, Sinbad's there and he's like singing his heart out like mm -hmm. the whole the the whole ride, and that song like just got stuck in my side yeah. of my head. And I, now Jared I just, really likes the song. I just love it so much. It's a good, it's catchy. So we wrote it again. Uh, I mean, so we wrote it again today, and I would have gone back later too, but we ended um, up just far away. Like yeah, it would have exactly. been really easy to write it again, yeah. but I think there was no wait. There, it was like a five minute wait, yeah. which means you just walk onto yeah. the ride. We had actually looked at the time earlier in the day, and it was like twenty minutes. I'm mm -hmm. like, mm, mm -hmm. not gonna do that. Twenty minutes. No. So <laughs> not for when we can get it for five. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think if we had been in the vicinity again, we would have written it again, yeah. just because it's easy to get onto. After we reprised the ride, we reprised the dessert yeah. um, that we also had. Um, mm -hmm. The last time that we were there. I dropped like a chocolate ball on my clothes. Like chocolate syrup covered yeah, dessert. Yeah, item. exactly. On my clothes. And so today the goal was to eat that again without um, mm -hmm. without ruining anything. And success. And, and success. And it was uh, just as yummy as it was before. Um, then we were, yeah, we were still just kind of making our way through the park. We ended, came upon a caramel corn yeah. stand. Yeah. Which we hadn't tried yet. Exactly. Uh, it was still. It was basically like the one that was still left on mm -hmm. the on the table to try. Yeah. Uh, one that I wasn't super interested in, in getting along with the original list because I've had caramel corn before. But, yeah, but um, I like it. So yeah, I bought it. Yeah, and the line wasn't too long. <laughs> after trying like a bunch of different popcorns, like it's like all right, now we have to try the caramel mm -hmm. anyway. Well, so we know how, and who like, knows? Like maybe caramel corn tastes really different here. Exactly. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, grab grab that. Um, also, they have. I didn't see them in Disneyland, but in Tokyo Disney Sea. They have like these hand washing stations set up around the park, and I had used one the other day to wash my hands, and they have like a little soap dispenser. And I did not realize it when I was getting the soap the first time. This is on the first day that we were in the park. Um, but it's a soap dispenser that dispenses the soap in the shape of Mickey on your hand. And so I wanted to try it again today um, to actually like see it. And um, turns out I'm just not really skilled uh, soap. Dispenser. Mickey, Mickey soaping. Yeah. Um, so I might have tried like four times <laughs> <laughs> trying to get it right. And um, I got like pretty close to what he was supposed to look like. I don't know. Sure. I was not holding my hand under it correctly. I don't know. I went and tried and figured I'm it out. Sure, and yeah. And it was perfect. It Whatever. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so then I had really clean hands to eat the rest of my popcorn, which is, <laughs> that's a win. Um, and um. then. Yeah, we were we were working we were working our way down to for Back shopping south yeah, yeah to where like, all the stores we, are at the entrance yeah that like that's what we were doing like mm -hmm. through the park like after Indiana Jones so this is around seven o'clock and we had Which mentioned means there are three hours of park time left. three hours yes and I even double checked the closing time because I thought maybe people know something we don't um, we talked about how in Disneyland the um, yesterday. We scouted all of our shopping early um, because we knew that the stores were such a madhouse at closing time. So we're trying to do that same thing today. And we talked about going to the stores earlier, but then we kind of you know spent some more time up north. And so it was about seven when we went down to the shops. And um, you would have thought the park was closing because it was a it was packed. 
yeah. was packed. And I'm we, gonna say it was just short of a madhouse. I don't want to exaggerate yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, no, no, because we want to be very clear yes. about when things are a madhouse and when they're not. Yes, but but it was very busy. And what's weird is that now, obviously, today is Friday, right? Mm, so I, don't know, I think it's Friday probably. here. Um, I think it is weekend because we were. Yeah. I was a little worried that we'd have trouble getting the restaurant reservation because it was a Friday, and obviously. Two days ago was more in the middle of the week, so maybe the stores just weren't as crazy. But when we were in the park a couple days ago, we were shopping toward the end of the day-ish, yeah. and the stores were Normal. peaceful, yeah. even, um, and a delight to browse. And so we are kind of expecting that similar experience today, and just <laughs> did not did not find it. Mm-hmm. Um, Things were already flying off the shelves. They People, were. Uh, all crowded in. Maybe it was because we went shopping. Maybe. I don't know. Um, um, but is that when I... Like, we just bought the stuff then, yeah, right? We just had a yeah, couple things to exactly. pick up. Um, and we had kind of already kind of scouted like two days ago, really. Mm-hmm. And so um, I knew a couple stores I wanted to go back to and, um, yeah, grabbed our stuff. And uh, then... I, then we sat on our bench. <laughs> then we sat on a bench. <laughs> and... Really... <laughs> After, <laughs> as we were deciding what we should do, I suggested maybe we just go back to the hotel. <laughs> Trina's like, maybe we go to a show. Yeah. We I was like, a... we still have one more ride left. We went to Not a show. Not until nine. So then we, that's when we decided to go um, check out the show that was in the Mermaid Lagoon area, which we mentioned in highlights. And um, weren't sure of the schedule, but figured we would just make our way over there. Yeah. And we think we just missed one of the showings. Yeah. But that was fine. Which means we just had to wait. We just meant we had to sit on the ground, which minutes. is like almost like benching. Exactly. And we bench on the ground. Ground, <laughs> ground bench. Yeah. Um, in a room that was actually kind of cool. Yeah. I'm glad we went in. It's like this big hall. It's really kind of weird because the theater was actually pretty sizable. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at estimating, so I won't guess at how many people can fit in there. Quite but a few. there's um Several hundred. There you go. <laughs> um, but you wait in sort of this big hallway, and for several hundred people... What did it have? Like four benches? Yeah. Two, two benches? Yeah. Like b- yeah. basically uh, more than half the people I think were sitting on the floor. So, um, Which worked out okay because they had those handy floor benches. Yeah. So uh, we sat on the floor and the, um, the ceiling had like these big like ball. Basically they were supposed to be bubbles. Yeah. Um, and they were kind of lit. It looked mm-hmm. really they, cool. Like the lights faded in and out on yeah. the ones. And yeah. It was a neat room. had... Um, Little Mermaid music playing. Yeah. Uh, and it was, yeah. The, an endless uh, verse of... Yes. The, so they kept playing Little Mermaid song, but they would only do the verses <laughs> and not the chorus. <laughs> Very unsatisfying. driving me crazy. <laughs> uh, and then we went into the audit- or the theater, mm-hmm. and um, it was kind of not... not Totally round. Yeah, it was a round room, but there really was clearly a front. A front. Yeah. Um, so we tried to put ourselves kind of like center so we could mm-hmm. see everything. And we could tell there was like things up above, so we kind of wanted to make sure we could see the stuff that was higher up. Mm-hmm. Um, and the show started. Yeah. Yeah, the, <laughs> was... the show was fine. There was a giant anima- animatronic Triton, which yeah, was King an, Triton, which was an impressive effect. Was, we had yeah, he's like, very large. Um, Ariel like came in on like a really impressive flying rig, and yeah. she was down and around and swooping and up and down and uh, again like super core workout. There probably were, a really painful harness. There were three humans in the show. Mm-hmm. There was Ariel, and then um, two puppeteers. One was. Um, for Sebastian, and one was Flounder. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was kind of fun. I yeah. actually thought the guy who was doing Sebastian did an excellent job. Yeah. Um, he was doing all the head movements and, like, saying all the words along with it and everything. Yeah. Like, um, it was really cool. And then um, they had these, I guess they were screens. They look like yeah. mirrors. But these, like, round um, discs. discs, like, came down from the ceiling. And... Um, then they were, like, movie screens. Yeah. Where there were seven of them and eight, uh, six of them. And, and each for all of her sisters. Yeah, exactly. Each of Ariel's sisters was on one of them. Another like a actual real life woman in a mermaid getup. Yeah. Like, like she was wearing like video of her and yeah. there was some choreography where they all like pointed and looked at the ones that And they would like swim to the next uh screen, mm. which was kinda cool. So they would like sing something and then like 
swim to the next one and pop up so like different ones would keep appearing in front of like from because you would to see them all you would have to like turn and look behind you um that's what i did yeah (laughs) and then they also had some stuff that like lowered from the ceiling Mm -hmm. at some point for um yeah under the sea i think um yeah but yeah the this this rig the aerial was on was really cool i mean it was cool to watch her too but to just to see this thing like maneuvering i mean yeah, yeah she was like diving down on top of the audience and like circling the whole room and um it was not small it held Mm -hmm. several hundred people apparently and um yeah it was like 15 minute show and short and sweet yep then we got out of there Mm -hmm. decided to go fight dinner had Mm -hmm. something we had earlier the week just like at a nice restaurant uh uh, like a nice counter service service nice in as in like nice location nice there's like a lot of seating Mm -hmm. um and we've been there earlier and we liked it the first time yeah it's like on some water because it's ZZC and everything's on the water Mm -hmm. um nice and peaceful from there like uh we saw a bit of phantasmic that was happening oh, yeah. like as in we saw some lights from phantasmic mm-hmm. that was happening through one archway and then we saw like the fireworks are happening at disneyland like over the next mm-hmm. uh mountain and then just kind of like uh we're like let our day like wind down from there yeah at that point we really only had like 15 minutes until our um the start of our window for our journey to the center of the earth a final fast pass and it was like well we could go to something and then come back to journey because we do have like until 10 o'clock to, mm-hmm. to get to it um but we just decided to sort of kill the 15 minutes yeah. and um just kind of browse one of the shops that was nearby and then go right at the start of our fast pass window mm-hmm. so we did journey to the center of the earth one more time uh, in this case we actually sat there the cart has six people in it and we sat at the back of the cart which the was first the first time? time yeah the first two times we sat at the front of the cart so we did that. that it was, was nice. fun. Um, after journey, the ride's still um, good after three times. It was yeah, exactly. I don't regret doing it three times. So that's uh, good. Yeah, after journey, we decided we were done for the day. Mm-hmm. Um, I said that since we're checking out tomorrow, uh, and who knows when I'm gonna get breakfast, I want to take something with me. Yes. So we decided we'd head for a bakery, the bakery that we've eaten at a couple times mm-hmm. now. And we're like, and maybe t- we take things to go home. Yeah, you keep telling the story. I'm okay. gonna get the visual aid. Okay. Uh, get something to take home. Uh, But then actually we got distracted on the way. Um, There's this fortress uh, that you can kind of like explore and a ship that's on the water that you can actually walk on. And we kept meaning to, uh, but it didn't happen. But it turns out by sidetracking into this fortress, we ended up with the ship. So we got to go out on that Uh, anyway. When we were on it, we were the we were the only people on it. Yeah. Um, so it was fun to kind of go and explore that, and then from there, uh, just kind of enjoying the ambiance and the mm-hmm. lights of the of the whole park, which is really really great. It's so at the, beautiful at the end up. of the day. Um, it's very it's like the people in it are very sparse, and mm-hmm. you can really just like it's quiet. And yeah. Peaceful the and the just, contrast yeah. of walk walking those pathways during the middle of the day and then at the end of the day, it's just it's so different. Yeah. <laughs> it's like night and day. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're so welcome. then we so then we went to the uh, bakery, picked up some last things, mm-hmm. including um, yeah. our visual aid for the day yes so um if you've ever looked up food at tokyo disney what's probably popped up um in your search are the little green men dumplings that they have and they we had eaten them in disney Mm -hmm. and then the bakery had them as well Um, but what's really fun is because of the pixar stuff that's going on it's not just little green men they also add in the pixar ball so here is your visual aid so little green man, little green man, and then the little mm-hmm. Pixar ball, and then it comes in this cute little Toy Story cup. And mm-hmm. since they have them in the bakery, um, grab them to go um, to have them one more time, which was nice because in the park I had never really um, beyond the first time that we had them, like grabbing another three, um, just seemed excessive with all our snacking. Mm-hmm. So um, it was fun to take them away, yeah. and then we grabbed um, some stuff for breakfast as well. Yep, which was great. And then hopped on the monorail, mm-hmm. came back. The hopped on a bus, came back. Now we're here. Now we're here. And we're exhausted. Um, maybe we'll get to sleep for a couple hours tonight because we guys, don't have to get up and go to the park. Tomorrow we do not have to wake up at six. It's amazing. It will be amazing. <laughs> we get to sleep in past six o'clock, and um, we need to confirm our checkout time. Yeah. Because we're not. Ex- 100% yeah. positive when it's that is. It's written down here somewhere. It's somewhere between 10 and 1. Mm-hmm. We'll figure it out. Um, we still need to pack. 
Um, oh, no. I know. <laughs> and Boo. we need to figure out how to get to our next location. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, all these minor details. Um, but yeah, so starting tomorrow, we leave, we leave Disney mm-hmm. and we head out into real Japan which is also super exciting. We'll be changing accommodations, changing locations. We're not even um, really sure what our filming situation is going yeah. to be tomorrow. Yeah, we don't know where we'll film. From uh, where we'll film because but, yeah. uh, I won't go into details, but we won't necessarily have a room like this exactly. to film in. Yeah. So we'll see what... We'll, we'll figure out something and we'll make it work. Mm-hmm. So we will get you an update. But I think that's it. Yeah? Yep. Okay, unless you have anything else. Nope. Um, if you have any questions about our trip or about Disney um, or about these dumplings, let us know. We'll try to answer them. Mm-hmm. But until next time, thanks for watching. Sayonara. Bye.